Hi, I'm Martin Pierce, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to raise purchase orders in Zahara. So you access Zahara through a web browser. Just go to any web browser, put the URL in, click your login details. Depending on who you are, you'll see a dashboard of some description. But if you're a buyer and you want to buy something, you will click the plus to raise a purchase order. Over here, we can see uh, that we've got a divisions drop down list. So I could be buying on behalf of many different divisions or I could be locked to one division. I've got my budget widget over here so I can see how much budget I've got remaining for the rest of the month. And I could choose to be myself or I could buy on behalf of somebody else. I could relate the whole purchase to a project or just separate line items to a project. I can choose my supplier from a drop down list. So if I choose, for example, TNT UK Limited, um, I then might want to raise a purchase ad hoc or I could choose if there's any products related to that supplier um, I could just choose them from a drop down list and add them so if I go one shipping to Lagos Nigeria say and we know it's going to cost £325 and choose a tax code it's going to be 20% and I could choose my, my um, nominal code from a drop down list so it could be the carriage 5100 if there was a project I was relating it to I could select that or if there was a cost code but I wanted to put it against I could choose that as well I then click next I've got the delivery address so it could be that I choose the default delivery address for my division or it could be that I choose a previous address that I've used in the past I have a number of choices for a workflow it could be that the workflow is set for you or it could be that you choose one from a drop down list so I want a director's approval I click next I can add as many comments as I want for about this purchase request um, relating to scanners shipping to Nigeria I click next and I get a summary of my purchase order request and I go raise purchase order so the purchase order request is now in the list. It's got a grey status, which means there's nothing going on or it's waiting for approval. The approver, in this case me, um, would get an email just come in and it's saying that you need to approve a document of type purchase order requested by Nick Headley Harper. He clicks this, it pops up a, um, a screen so you can see the uh, summary of that purchase request you can see my comments related to scanner shipping to Nigeria and down here you can approve or reject so all okay please sort click approve and that's it the document has been approved if we go back to the purchase orders list the approval status is now green we can see and the comment is below if we go into that purchase order we got various things we could do. We could manually, if we wanted to, click the email icon and we could email it to the supplier and we could have all of that information preset based on what's saved for the supplier. Alternatively, I could download the PDF of that purchase order here and I could email it to them from my own email client. I could clone it. So for example, I could be buying this thing regularly from the same supplier every few days. So I don't want to keep keying it in all the time. I could just find one that I've done before and clone it. I can edit it um, and I can resend it into the process or I can export the document as well. So the purchase order system is very nice for the finance people because they get a visual on everything that uh, has been purchased. They can sort it on date and supplier, etc., etc. So, so far this is all very simple. We're just raising purchase orders and we're seeing a dashboard or a list of the purchase orders um, in, a, in a very neat control panel. So that concludes this little video about raising a purchase order. There's other videos you can look at about invoice processing and all the settings behind the scenes in uh, Sahara. So I hope you found that useful.